Okay, I'm here for the for the second time because uh, I wanted to um, to present um, our vinegars. We uh, actually um, take origin from the tradition of the wine vinegar, which is uh, really really old. Um, you know, balsamic vinegar in the past wasn't used for uh, for in the kitchen. I mean, as an ingredient. In fact, it was more something like a medicine, a medicine. No, something good for health, to, to sip just a few drops at the end of the dinner, etc. In fact, the only vi vinegar really used was the wine vinegar and other kind of vinegar, maybe from, from fruit, from, even from vegetable too. Anyway, our new line of vinegars um, is made with red wine, white wine, Labrusco and Malpasia, for example, also single, Varietal single grapes wine, just to have a, have a different kind of vinegar. I mean, different taste, aroma, perfume, etc. And also other vinegar like beer vinegar, queen's vinegar, and uh, wine vinegar aged in juniper barrel. So all of these are really particular in taste and aroma because. Uh, we use a method which is the really old one with a very slow oxidation. Uh, the oxygen transforms the raw material that we select really carefully. In fact, we pick good wine from small producer of Italy. First of all, they have to be friend of us, <laughs> and then we can think together to make a unique product starting from their, their wine. For example, we use Pigato grapes from Liguria, Rossese from Liguria, Timorasso from Piedmont, and also for sure Lambrusco, which comes from our province. So, uh, wine vinegar can be used both for food or even as a special ingredient for bibite for drinks. A uh, uh, really nice way to, to use it could be drizzle a little bit of red vinegar on a porchetta as soon as you cook it. And this is a porchetta with um, uh, endives, curly endives, chicoria anyway. And so red vinegar, just a little bit, no? Just to cut off the, the little fat, fat taste of the porchetta and uh, usually you can also smell the aroma because uh, I was telling you about the, the process now of the vinegar I mean we use a very slow oxidation method so not forcing with oxygen pumping oxygen in the, in the barrel or whatever and also keep the, the, the wine that is transforming into vinegar at natural temperature. This is really important because doing it this way we can keep the original aroma and the perfume and respect the aroma and the perfume of the wine, which is improved because of the oxidation. So, I come back with the food and this is the porchetta with the red wine vinegar and also a really nice way to, to use it is uh, on a pizza. Usually, is, I mean, this is a <laughs> really rich pizza because we have cheese, we have guanciale, you have an egg on it. So you can add some parmigiano too, even not necessarily to age, like 20 months, 18 months, etc. And then there is a little bit of white wine vinegar. As, a, as in the previous idea, like as for the porchetta or even salame, fresh salame cooked in the oven, etc. In the same way here, you have to like balance the richness of the, of the dish with the clean, sour taste of the vinegars. And these are for some examples of uh, how to use the vinegars. And, and a really nice, uh, another really nice way to use it is for the bibite. One, uh, one suggestion could be to use a, like a sweet uh, fruit juice 
little bit. This is really big. This is a little bit thick, so I use a little bit, not too much. Tonic water. So here you have something. The tonic gives you the little bit of bitter taste. The, the smoothie of the fruit gives you the, the sweet. So what do you need? You need something a little bit more sour to, to make it a little bit refreshing. We can use the Queen's, uh, the Queen's vinegar, it's pure, I mean, uh, we don't have any aroma, um, artificial aroma, etc. It, it comes 100% with, uh, from uh, Queen's cider, the tweeters from into vinegar, and we make the cider too. So instead to add lemon or whatever you want, you can add some vinegar, and then mix it. And drinking, I will drink it later. And then, this is maybe for like aperitivo at the beginning. You can also add some, in this case, balsamic vinegar to prosecco, which is really, really easy and really nice. Another, another kind of uh, like cocktail is a little bit stronger, and um, I, I think is is better as a after dinner one. Could be made with. Uh, well, we share it, we share it. Amarene. A little bit of syrup. I don't have any marine, but okay. You can add amarene if you want. Vodka. The quantity depends on how much you want to be happy at the end. And um, what else? Okay, you, of course, we have to sh shake it and it. Excuse me, I'm moving a lot. So you, here you have something alcoholic, a little bit of uh, sweet from the syrup. And I think that a good idea could, could use, can, I can use the juniper uh, barrel vinegar. I mean, the vinegar aged in juniper barrel. And what we have here, so you should shake it a little bit and maybe Use a use a very very small uh, glasses to taste it, and this this will be a wannabe a gin because it's a vodka with gin vinegar, and it tastes like gin, and the taste and the taste is vinegar is really fresh.